Hi, I am Dr. Manvita Mahajan. I am Director in Obstetrics and Gynecology and Minimal Access Gynecology at Artemis Hospitals, Gurgaon. Hello, I am Dr. Neha Gupta and I am a Consultant in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Today we are going to talk about an extremely important uh, complication of pregnancy which is also a medical emergency. It is the ectopic pregnancy. So ma'am, uh, what is ectopic pregnancy? Any pregnancy which is growing and developing outside the uterus is called an ectopic pregnancy. The usual location of pregnancy is the uterus. Pregnancy which grows outside the uterus cannot develop beyond a certain point and leads to complications. And it is very important to diagnose this condition and correctly manage it because it can be, it is a life threatening condition if allowed to continue. What are the sites where the pregnancy would usually grow outside the uterus? The commonest site is the fallopian tube. However, pregnancy can also be found on top of the ovaries, back of the uterus. In fact, it can be in any place in the abdomen, but those are very, very rare conditions. The usual rate of ectopic pregnancy is around 1% and uh, more than 95% of the time it would be inside the fallopian tube. Is there any subset of women who are at a higher risk of having ectopic pregnancy? So any woman who is pregnant can have an ectopic pregnancy. There are certain women who have higher than normal chance of having an uh, ectopic pregnancy. So those women who have suffered from ectopic pregnancy in the past, those women who have suffered from recurrent episodes of pelvic inflammatory disease or who have um, scarred or uh, infected fallopian tubes or those in whom uh, surgery on the fallopian tubes has been performed. Yeah. There are a special subgroup who have to be watched carefully mm. in pregnancy and pregnancy should be localized at the earliest to see that it is growing inside the uterus. Right. Mm. Uh, when can one suspect uh, an ectopic pregnancy? Like I said, any woman who is pregnant mm. um, can have an ectopic pregnancy. Okay. So the most important thing is clinical suspicion on the part of the uh, treating physician or gynecologist. Any woman who comes in the reproductive age group and who comes with pain abdomen or who reports menstrual disturbances in the form of either missed periods or irregular periods or any woman who comes and gives history of menstrual irregularities, pain abdomen with fainting or any such symptoms uh, should be investigated for uh, ectopic pregnancy. So we've been saying that this is a medical emergency and a life threatening condition. What are the risks to the woman who is having an ectopic pregnancy? Since the normal location of the pregnancy is the uterus, and as we know, the baby grows and develops normally inside the uterus only, especially designed for that purpose by nature. The pregnancies which are growing outside the uterus cannot grow beyond a certain point. Right. And if it is implanted in the fallopian tube, right. after a certain point, it leads to either tubal rupture or abortion starts to happen. However, this tubal rupture leads to bleeding inside the abdomen mm -hmm. or abortion which is happening leads to blood loss inside the abdomen which is a hidden blood loss, not visible to us. Mm -hmm. So by the time the woman reaches or seeks help, sometimes a lot of blood loss has already occurred and this can at times be fatal also. So it's a life-threatening condition and must be um, diagnosed at the earliest. So apart from the clinical suspicion, are there certain lab investigations or imaging studies which are uh, required to make the diagnosis in a assured manner? The first and most important step is to diagnose the pregnancy. An accurate diagnosis of pregnancy is possible by doing a blood pregnancy test called beta HCG. If beta HCG says that the woman is pregnant, this is the most accurate pregnancy test. If the range is below the pregnancy, that means there, uh, it says there isn't a pregnancy, then 
ectopic pregnancy is ruled out. Right. Once we diagnose pregnancy based on the blood pregnancy test, the further testing would be by doing ultrasound. Right. And this is a specialized ultrasound called transvaginal ultrasound which uh, helps in better imaging of the uterus, ovaries and fallopian tubes mm. and w helps in diagnosing this condition. Sometimes we have to do serial monitoring to correctly diagnose this condition. Right. So once the diagnosis has been made, how do we manage the condition? Ectopic pregnancy is managed either by medication or by surgery. If the ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed early, mm. when the beta HCG levels are low, size of the pregnancy is small, mm. the woman's condition is stable, many a times she can be offered treatment um, which does not involve surgery. Just by means of medication this can be managed. However, following medication she requires follow up by means of uh, again beta LCG and ultrasound okay. studies to know that it is resolving and uh, the ectopic pregnancy is getting properly uh, treated. Surgery is reserved for women who are poor candidates for medical management. That means the size of ectopic is large, the beta HCG levels are high, her own clinical condition is not stable. Okay or she may have medical conditions which do not allow us to use medicines or we feel that um, uh, she herself is desirous of uh, surgical treatment mm -hmm. because the medical treatment can be prolonged at times mm -hmm. then in those women uh, surgical treatment is offered the surgical treatment is usually done laparoscopically and the aim of the surgery is to remove the ectopic pregnancy. Sometimes uh, while fulfilling the same, we have to remove the fallopian tube and sometimes we are able to save the fallopian tube. Mm -hmm. Often this requires complete assessment of the situation mm -hmm. before surgery, during surgery and of course uh, counselling of the couple regarding this. Right. So uh, I believe that uh, all the information has been extremely useful for our, for our viewers and thank you ma'am for uh, the information given. Thank you. Thank you so much.